fairly densely populated. While this area to the northwest of Vegas is nothing but miles and miles and miles. Yes, I see. Well, I figured Laura Baldwin's body will be found just about here, right in the middle of the desert, if it's ever found. What will be found is her abandoned car and a tearful suicide note telling how after all these months she still couldn't cope with having been raped. The car's gas tank will be on empty and she will apparently have had a, well, a change of heart and decided to try to make it back to civilization across the desert. But it's too bad she can't make it that far without food and water. Intriguing idea, Bill. We won't have to touch her physically. There'll be no question of foul play. Just a miserable young girl who couldn't face life, huh? That's right. This was not the hit we had planned. Oh, no. I dreamed it up myself. Sort of a thank you for the way that girl's treated me. You've never liked Laura Baldwin, have you? She's always treated me like scum. <laughs> this is my little thank you. You know, I'd sure like to be the one to take the little princess on her last ride. Think about it, will you? I will. I'm here to stop. I'm here to sell Crystal Drano, the drain cleaner. Yeah, well, I'm here to sell Liquid Drano, the drain opener. Ladies, use Crystal Drano once a week, and you may never have an emergency clogging problem. But if you ever do have an emergency clogging problem, use Liquid Drano. They shouldn't have an emergency clogging problem if they use Crystal Drano once a week. <laughs> but what if they forget? Mm -hmm. Crystal Drano, what you use to clean your drains. Liquid Drano, what you use if you forget to use Crystal Drano. I don't see any way out of this mess. Well, well, well. Hey, didn't you say everything you had to say yesterday? Do you mind if I say how delighted I am to see Mrs. Baldwin here? I hope this means that you're coming back to work here. You should enjoy it a lot more this time, because we've got big plans for Luke. He's going to open a club for us in Vegas. Uh, there's no reason why you can't be in on it. In fact, I think Mr. Smith will insist on it. Should be nice going to Vegas with your friend and boss, don't you think? A nice little paid vacation for a girl who I think is as smart as she is pretty. Good morning, morning. Beautiful day, isn't it? I feel good all under. Move to the back of the bus. It's my Hanes underwear. Hanes really fits. The weight doesn't bind. And the neck keeps it tape, and the arms and legs have plenty of room. Ah, I'll stand, says I feel good all under, thanks to Haynes underwear. April Stevens. Well, I'm sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. Maybe this will. $3,500 belongs to you. $3,500? What are you talking about? That's the money you gave my client for her baby. As I said, gentlemen, I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Come on, man. You know damn well what we're talking about. Look, I'm very busy. You're wasting my time. I'd appreciate it if you would leave now. We're going nowhere. Not until this is settled. Please, get out of my office. Mr. Stone, there is no point denying it. April told us the whole story. And she has changed her mind. My client wants her baby back. Nothing more, nothing less. It's extraordinary the way some people enjoy the extraordinary taste of Kieran beer. Doesn't your butler serve you, Kieran? For over 100 years, Kieran beer has added an extraordinary flavor to even the most ordinary meals. Ordinary? Hamburgers a la Richard? Of course, you can enjoy the full-bodied flavor of Kieran beer anywhere you like. Because when it's a matter of taste, Kieran is simply extraordinary. Imported Kieran beer, patiently brewed to perfection.
I know I went through that stop sign back there, sir, but uh, I'm sorry, and uh, there's a logical explanation. Thank you. You see, uh, my skate uh, came off my brake, and I got it stuck in my accelerator, sir. So you can see it right here, sir. If you just uh, want to take a, take a look so you can see it right there. Uh, will you get... Will you get out of your car, please, sir? Uh, that's pretty difficult, sir. Yeah. Safety device. Have you been drinking, sir? No, no, sir. I, I haven't. It's, it's these skates. Why are you driving with your skates? Uh, well, I'm not allowed to take them off. Not allowed? No, sir. You see, well, if I took them off, I'd have to start all over, and then, well, I'd lose five hours. I'm going to have to ask you to perform a sobriety test, sir. Wait a minute, officer. I told you I haven't been drinking. Come on, come on. I want you to turn around. I want you to walk a perfect straight line for me, heel to toe, spread your arms out at your side. I don't believe I could do that. I just... Walk! Off. See, if we were on level ground, I could... Listen, mister, you're gonna be in big trouble. Uh, just a minute, officer. I happen to know my rights. Hey, hey, no, hey, I... hey, hey, hey. I'm within my rights to protect people from clowns like you. Uh, uh, now, now, come on, turn around, put your hands on the roof, and spread your legs. No, I don't believe I can do that. Spread them. Here. Right. Hold it still. I told you I couldn't do it. Here. 